Welcome back to Always Dolls and thanks for joining us as we continue decorating our dollhouse. Today we are going to make a nursery that connects with the cottage core bedroom. We will start by adding panelling to the walls using 5mm thick white foam board. The pieces are measured and cut to fit the length of each wall. They are 20cm tall with an added baseboard of 2.5cm and a top rail of 2cm. The foam board panels are attached to the wall with double sided tape. This way we can remove them later if we want to redecorate this room. The space looks so much brighter already. To the back wall we are going to add oversized panels. They are made from rectangles of paperboard covered in pink contact paper and framed with more white foam board. Position the panels evenly spaced apart, again using double sided adhesive so they can be easily removed if desired. We added the cloud tapestries from our rainbow room decor video to the left and right panels, but kept the centre panel blank as we will push our DIY canopy crib up against it. In the right corner we placed the pink locker for a closet and on top of this a vase filled with white flowers and some succulent plants. We also made some of Bethany's favourite childhood stories into mini books. They are made from scraps of foam board with printables of the cover glued on top. On the wall adjacent to the locker we have a cuckoo clock that we crafted many years ago. We also strung up a pom-pom garland to give the ceiling area more colour and interest. On the floor we made a rug from some pink faux fur fabric. In the left corner we put past Girl of the Year Kanani's lounge chair and matching ottoman. And against the short wall we placed American Girl's pink bouquet nightstand. On the table we put a lamp, mirror, vase of flowers and some small wooden blocks. We also made a mini book of what to expect the first year to help our dolls when caring for baby. Under the window we placed the white and teal four drawer unit that we bought from Kmart in the stationery section. We dressed this area with Melody's plush elephant and packets of Huggies nappies from the Coles mini shop promotion. We also have this jar of Vegemite from the same promotion and we're going to turn it into a jar of pseudo cream. Simply paint the jar grey then make a mini label, put glue on the back and wrap it around the jar. Now our precious AG baby's tushy is protected from any possible nappy rash. We also popped an assortment of AG lotion and perfume bottles on top of the counter to use for our baby. You can click the card top right to see how to make a similar tissue box from one of our past DIYs. Here we will fill Gabriella's tote bag with a bottle, nappies and more cloths so the dolls will have a carry bag ready whenever they go out with baby. Of course, no nursery is complete without adorable plushies to fill the crib and give baby something to snuggle up with. Our doll DJ just loves spending time in the new nursery with his little sister. The nursery is bright and colourful, but also calming so baby can get lots of good rest. Thanks for spending your time with us today, and we'll see you again soon for more miniature crafting fun.